This video shows students at Apopka High School fighting in the middle of campus, and the teens didn't stop for police. Those officers used pepper spray to break up the fight, and some innocent kids were hit. Investigative reporter Carla Ray learned even though the use of force was deemed justified by the Apopka Police Department, some parents are pushing for answers about how often it happens, but we learned district leaders have no idea. Nine investigates found this video posted on social media showing a Popka High School student squaring up ready to fight. By the time the first punches are thrown, two school resource officers from a Popka PD are there to try to break the teens up. But you can see the kids don't stop. One officer went in to try to break up the altercation. Another student came out from his side and started throwing punches. That's when you can see the officers reach toward their belts to pull out pepper spray. It broke up the crowd and five students were arrested, but not before some other students who weren't involved in the fight itself were also hit with the spray. Students we spoke to outside the high school didn't want to go on camera, but one girl told me even though she was nowhere near the fight itself, she felt the effects of that pepper spray telling me that it was hard to breathe. One mother sent an email to city leaders saying her daughter wasn't a part of the fight. She didn't know anything about it, but she was pepper sprayed pretty bad. In a case such as this, the crowd is coming around, which makes it even more dangerous around the students that are the combatants. And the, the message here is the crowd needs to leave. On this campus alone, resource officers have used pepper spray twice this school year, but getting similar stats from other Orange County high schools isn't as easy because district leaders don't keep track of when force is used. And our officers are going to take the, the means necessary in order to protect the other kids that are really good kids in school. OCPS's SRO program is run by several law enforcement agencies, meaning multiple policies and philosophies about when force can and should be used. Oh. Though Captain Randall Fernandez says in general, force is infrequent and minimal. We use care with all the public that we come in contact with and we don't want to use any force except for the very minimum force necessary in order to control the situation. Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We asked the Orange County Sheriff's Office, which provides the bulk of the county's SROs, whether they keep stats on the use of force in schools to see just how frequent it is. They tell us that they are working on those statistics for us but said it could take some time. We asked the district why they don't do more to monitor use of force and we still are waiting to hear back.